What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, Meet the Teats. My name is Melissa. And I'm Chris. And we are back with another video, a Faith Driven Friday. We are so excited about this video, you guys. We truly believe that it is going to bless you. So we are going to be coming from Numbers 13, a little bit of Numbers 14. I'm just going to briefly summarize the story, you guys. But if you want to um, know what it says word from word, I'll link it in, in the description box below. So just a quick summary. Moses um, had led the children of uh, the Israelites out of Egypt and they had already crossed the Red Sea they um, were in the wilderness you guys and they were so close to the promised land now Moses sent 12 spies to the promised land to um, peep the scene to see what was yeah to see what was really going on okay how much harvest was there or how many people were there were their walls up or were there just open ground so the spies came back and they brought back all of this amazing harvest pomegranates grapes and all these great things and they were like yes okay this is it this is the land that God is promising us the land of milk and honey the land of milk and honey yeah. and uh, they were like the spies were like but the people there they were giants. They were giants. And Canaanites. they're scary. Yeah. And they were like huge. And there's so many of them. We could never take on mm -hmm. an army like that. Yeah. So Moses and his crew, Caleb and all of them were like, oh, we're good. Like God is with us. We'll be okay. We're going to take the land by force. Mm -hmm. But the 12 leaders, the 12 tribes and their leaders, they started doubting. Yeah. They started thinking, uh, who you think we are? We're not crazy. Yeah. We're not about to go over there, try to take over their land, and get squashed by all of these giants. Yeah. So they said, we're not going for it. We'll talk rather go that. back. Hmm? Talk about that self-doubt. Yeah, talk about self-doubt. We'll rather go back to slavery, back wow. to Egypt. And just do what we were doing, being enslaved, mm -hmm. then go into a place that God promised us mm -hmm. and possibly get killed. So they were really going at it. Okay. Yeah. And in this video, you guys, we want to talk about God's timing because timing is everything. Yeah. Okay. It is all about timing. And we want to give you three ways that you can know if you are in God's timing or if you are out of God's timing. All right, y'all. So in the book of Numbers, um, basically, the Israelites seem to have a bit more trust in their tribal leaders hmm, yeah than in the father himself than in the word and the promises of the father himself and and to to put it into modern day terms it's like us as people us as our generation whoever um we put our trust more so in the world hmm. and we kind of like depend on the world interpretation of our, our lives and how they look at us mm -hmm. other than what God or how God is looking at us or what he, what he called us to be. Mm -hmm. I know one thing um, to put into example was moving to Dallas. Mm -hmm. um, when we said that we were officially moving to Dallas and we had one month <laughs> to move to Dallas yeah. um, we caught a lot of flack about that. Mm. Um, Whole lot. A lot of it, I'm not going to say it was negative, but it was a lot of it that was coming out of concern. Some people kind of more so negative, mm -hmm. but a lot of it was coming out of concern. Like, why are you moving this, 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 this soon? soon? You just and got married. You just got married. And, yeah. you know, I think that you should just wait on this, this, yeah. and this, next one, Z. You can never put your time clock on God's timing. Mm. If that make any sense. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, you can't never say that this is what you're going to do. And this is how it's going to be executed. And it's not and if it's, it's not, not in God's timing. If it's not in God's timing. Right, you know? right, right. If it's not what he called you to do right then and there, then mm -hmm. it's just not going to happen. And if you do happen. go out and try to do that, it's not going to happen in your favor. You yeah. Know? Yeah, so. it may seem like it for a moment. Yeah. And that's really God giving you grace. Right. That's God giving grace. But at the end of the day, you know, that may fall off or that may not work because right. it was not done in God's timing. Yeah. And that kind of leads us to our second point. You have to know that God's plan is better than yours. 
Okay, that may seem all the time real harsh <laughs> and be real straight up, but your plan, I mean, you can have a plan. Yeah, you can have a plan, but just know that it's not going to be better than God's plan. Okay? I thought I was going to the NBA at like 12. Right, exactly. So, <laughs> and I'm sure that a lot of you thought you were going to do this and do that, do this, right. but God's plan was something different. I want to read to you guys Proverbs 16 and 9. All right, y'all. So Proverbs 16 states, it says, we plan the way we want to live, but only God makes us able to live it. I love that. Yeah, that's good. I love that so much. And there's different versions of this verse that's like amazing, but we can have this plan on how we want to live. At the end of the day, it's only God that makes us able to live it out. You know what I'm saying? And that's beneficial to me because I'm a planner. Yeah. Like I have planners on top of planners. I make it. Didn't I make a to-do list for today? You did. I make a to-do list every single day, and I'm like, this Bible verse says, make a plan. Okay, mm -hmm. have some type of direction, some type of plan. But at the end of the day, you need to know that it's God that's being that makes you able to do that plan. Yeah. And again, like we said earlier. That plan is not going to come into fruition if it's not in God's timing. All right, y'all. So that takes us into number three, which is the mindset has to shift. And to point out the fact that the Israelites were free, mm -hmm. but they were still enslaved mentally. Yes. To the were. fact that they would rather go back into bondage hmm. instead of proceeding and going in the direction that God wanted to go mm -hmm. to the promised land. Yeah, exactly. And that's a scary place to be. Yeah. To physically be free but mentally yeah. enslaved. Like, that's scary because some people don't even realize they're mentally enslaved. Yeah. Like, they don't even realize that. They think they are so woke. But no, nah, you're not. Okay, right. you're not. Okay, you are still in bondage in your mind. And that frustrated Moses so much that he even went to God and pleaded with God, please, please, please just give them a break. You know, like just give them a break, forgive them. You know, they don't know what they're up to. They don't know what they're doing. And God was like, nah, yeah. like mentally they can't get out of bondage. Mm -hmm. You know, I have done this. I've shown myself strong in this area. I've even parted the Red Sea and they still don't get it. Wow. That's my question to you, to my question to them, babe, and to you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> what has God done in your life? He showed himself to be strong in this area. He's provided for you in this area. He's done this for you, done this for you. All these things he has shown you, like I'm in your corner, I'm for you, I'm with you. Yeah. But are you still enslaved mentally? Are you still trying to do things on your own timing? You ever feel like that? Yeah, I have. I have felt like that before. And mostly it's with like negative thoughts. You know, I as I sit here and, and I think about this, I, I feel as though I have a really good example of feeling that way. Like actually being free, but still being mentally in bondage. Mm -hmm. um, I, I felt as though I've traded a, a check for my peace of mind, you know? It's kind of weird. It's kind of scary, actually, to start your own business and leave what you know, what you've been doing for years, mm -hmm. and to go into this 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 area of uncertainty mm -hmm. and just totally relying on God. And sometimes those negative thoughts that come about mm -hmm. um, just tell you, like, man, maybe you should just go back and do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. But deep down, the Holy Spirit is telling you that you need to persevere. Yes. Because at the end of the tunnel, I have something greater for you. Yeah. And I think that's what keeps me grounded. Yeah. So your mindset has to shift, you guys. Yeah. You have to make sure that you are not living this lifestyle, this mindset of slave, enslaved, of being yeah. enslaved. You know, the Bible says that I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. It's not just... A little bit of abundance but no he wants you to live your life to the full yeah. until it overflows and all of this great all these great things and if our minds are still like no I don't deserve it or no I shouldn't do this or no I shouldn't do that you're gonna miss out on a lot of amazing opportunities yeah. 
So just trust God's timing. Know that his plan is better than yours, bigger than yours than you can even imagine. And be sure that you shift your mindset and shift your mindset towards him. Yeah. Towards that's, him. That's the best way to put it. And away from the negativity yeah. that's around you or even that's like happening and raging in your mind. Okay? Yeah. Anything else you want to add, babe? Mm. Nah. <laughs> no. No. Nah, okay. I think, I think we're good. I, I think, think we're good. good. I think that's good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. We really, really appreciate it. Watching our videos, you guys. We are now at 2,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We're on the road to 3K. So keep rocking with us and like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys. We'll see y'all guys. We'll see you guys later. On know? the next one. On the next one. Peace. Peace.